Hello there, welcome to Owen Williams Reviews or Talks About or I still don't know what this channel's meant to be. Sorry. Feeling a bit ill? Might pause talking, might screw up some talking. But anyway, today I'm going to go through all the books that I got in 2019 so far. Books I bought myself, books I got for my birthday, books I stole from bookstore, I mean books I just found lying around outside. And let's just hop right into it. I got a few books. And I'm excited to read all of them. I still have an entire shelf full of books that I'm planning on reading, and then all of these are just a whole other shelf in their own right. So I have a lot of things that I'm excited to read in the future. But anyway, let's hop right into it. I'm going to try to go from most excited to read to least excited to read. And I'm going to start with Time Riders. This is a book that I got for my birthday. It is, as far as I can tell, it's about these kids who are inducted into the secret organization where they have to um, fix time travel problems. I'm a really big fan of time travel. My favorite show ever is Doctor Who. So I'm very excited to read this, but there's a lot of other books that seem more up my alley. I'm not the biggest into sci-fi books. I love sci-fi movies, but books have never been really the most important on a sci-fi schedule. Have have never been the most important thing. So I think it's probably my first ever sci-fi book I've ever read. So I'm kind of excited to try it out and I'm just gonna try to go in with an open mind. Um, another book that I got, which is setting up my alley, is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Edeyemi. I probably butchered that name. This book tells me nothing about what it is. All I get is that. There's no blurb on the back. And that's all I can really say. I'm just, I like books that don't really tell you much, but make it exciting. And Children of Blood and Bone is definitely a really exciting title. Don't even know what genre it's in. It looks kind of horror fantasy. And I'm a really, I really love horror books. They're, it's one of my favourite genres of books. But, however, I also got a bunch of books that are in my favourite genre, so I'll move on to those now. Next are kind of two books in a row. The first is The Six of Crows. This book is, the best way that I can describe it from reading the blurb, is a fantasy heist. Which seems really exciting. It's also in something called The Gushiverse, which is apparently a series of books. It in one um, fantasy world that have um, no real connection to each other. And I got another book in that series as well, but this one is probably the one I'm most excited to read out of the two because I really like heist movies and I love fantasy books. But the other one I got was this one, King of Scars. This one is about the king of the Gushiverse, I believe, and that's really all I got. And I'm just gonna leave that at that. So the last book that I'm not really, really excited to read is Reefer Vendetta. I love the movie. I first saw the movie last year, and I'm very excited to read it. And wait one second. Okay. So, we got a bit of a cold coming on, which I hate. It's like the first day of the holidays and I get a cold, which is so annoying. Anyway, I love the movie and I'm excited to read the book. I think it's a... Yeah, it's a graphic novel, but I don't think I can show you anything inside it. Moving on to all the books I'm very excited to read. The first one is House of Leaves. Now, I don't know what this book's about. All I know is it's meant to be the most intense book ever. With story within story within story, and it's horror, which of course I've said before I really like in books. And a YouTube channel named Austin McConnell um, recommended it. And if you look at it, the front page is shorter than the actual book, which is really interesting and I'm very excited to find out more about this book and what everything in it means. Okay, moving on to some, to the next book I got that I'm pretty excited to read, which was The Shining by Stephen King. I actually got a lot of horror books, oh crap, no it's gone, okay. I wanted to read Stephen King books for a while and I asked some for my birthday from some relatives and I got two. The Shining is, I think, his most famous work and it's the one I first heard about. And I'm very excited... Okay, we're just gonna put The Shining away now. I'm very excited to read it because it's meant to be very scary. But the Stephen King book that I am most excited to read is... It. I saw the trailer for the movie and I get nightmares from that and this is meant to be even scarier than the movie, so... I will probably have nightmares about this book, but I'm still really excited to read it. But anyway, those are all pretty okay books that I'm kind of excited to read. The books that I am unbelievably excited to read, I got four. 
these four. Um, All the Wrong Questions by Lemony Snicket. I'm going to move them because... Actually, wait, I can... Because I can't put them up and I don't want them falling everywhere, so... I, in 2018, I only read 13 books of my own accord, which was the 13 series of unfortunate events books. And this is by the same author who made those books. But the interesting thing is, um, the author is really connected with the books, making them really, really fascinating. So I think, and a few questions are left unexplained by Lemony Snicket series of unfortunate events. So I really hope that this series elaborates on a few of the questions and kind of explains some things. But anyway, this was just a short video. My plan is to make one special video, like ranking or something like this, every Sunday. And yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, I had to make this one pretty short because we're going away um, for one night. So by the time you see this, we should be back. Because I'm recording this on... Yeah, we'll be back by the time you see this video. So anyway, um... I'll get back to my movie reviews relatively soon, and I'll continue reading all these books. I still have a bunch of other books to read, but we'll just ignore those for now. So anyway, have a great day, I'll see you on the next video, and Owen out. Goodbye.